Hey everyone, if you guys want to see how to go from uh, this to this with a nice fresh natural makeup look covering your sunburn completely and some nice tips and tricks on how to treat sunburn as well keep on watching I also have a really funny epic video coming up in a couple of days on my channel and it's going to be like a game show kind of thing where we can like play a game together with zodiac signs so keep an eye out for that because it's actually going to be hilarious so it should be up on Saturday for you guys, so definitely pop back to the channel and see that and we can play it together. Otherwise, if you go onto my Instagram at the moment, I am following everyone back, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. My name is going to be just here, and then I can follow you guys back and see your posts as well. So keep watching if you guys want to see how to treat sunburn and how to cover it like this. Yep! This is literally how my face looks at the moment. Don't even know how I managed to miss putting some look on my face, but I put it everywhere else. <laughs> but this is my sunburn of the day, guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how to cover up bad sunburn like this. And we're going to keep the skin really supple, very fresh. We want to prevent getting that really intense discomfort. You know when your skin's so dry and you're just like... I want to cry and scream at the same time because it's so itchy and just uncomfortable. Today we are going to put makeup on and I'm going to show you guys how to cover up the redness for one because if you've got work or you've got an occasion where you need to look nice probably don't want to go out looking like this <laughs> let's be real so we're going to cover it up and I'm going to show you guys a couple of tricks of when you have sunburn how to keep your skin feeling and looking very fresh and moisturized and just really nice and supple so we're going to get started I have already put some moisturizer on my skin just as an FYI guys if you are sunburned you need to keep moisturizing also, aloe vera products are really amazing for the skin as well. They'll take down a little bit of the redness, but they will remove a bit of the itchiness and the discomfort too. So if you have like an aloe vera plant or um, those after sunburn products, you know, the ones that, that they're like in a tube and you can put it on after. Um, and we're going to get started with the makeup now. So starting with a primer. This is a really soothing hydrating primer. So this is an hourglass one. This is the number 28 serum primer. This has literally got 28 botanical ingredients in it that will soothe your skin. So I'm going to leather this bad boy on. So we're just going to take a little bit in the hand and massage it like this and press it on. I don't want to rub too much on my skin just because I don't want to cause miss, miss, miss discomfort, more discomfort. So just patting that on. And this is going to relieve like a little bit of that crustiness. I literally feel like putting that on <laughs> just made my skin look so much worse. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this Maybelline palette. This is the Master Camo Color Correcting Kit, if I can open it. And we are just going to take a little bit of this green concealer. So if you have any green colored concealers or primers at home, now is the time to chuck a little bit on over top. Just remember a little bit of green goes a very very long way you're basically putting a tiny bit on so you can dim down the redness you don't want to put a thick cover on so it's not about covering it it's about dimming that color before you put your foundation it should turn it a little bit more grayed that's basically what you want it to do I've just taken a tiny bit on this brush and I'm just going to dab it on here so you will see in just a second guys how a little bit really does go like a long way. See how it's turning a bit more grey? That's what you want. You can't obviously leave it like this on the skin. We're putting a thin layer on and then we're going to put our foundation on over top. But we just want this to dim down that redness a little bit. And I'm just taking a tiny bit at a time, not much product at all, because I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to make it look like I'm the Hulk. 
<laughs> I yeah, definitely don't want to look like the Hulk. I just want like a tiny, 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 tiny bit of the color corrector. Yeah, and you can see how my skin is now looking a little bit more grayed. This is how sunburnt I am, guys. So you can see how sunburnt I am when you put this on top because it looks very strange. I don't even know what's going on with my skin right now. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got our color correcting on, we are going to put some foundation on. And I am going to be taking the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. I'm going to put it on like a medium coverage. Of course now if you wanted to go in with like a more fresh, natural look, BB cream or color correcting cream, even concealer, would do the job. So I'm going to take that and then a damp sponge. If you prefer brushes, that is so fine, or even your fingers. I just like the fact that there's moisture in this sponge. So when I put it on top of my face, it's not going to cause discomfort when you've got sunburn. Like me. So let's start with a little bit of... I just got that on my top. <laughs> when am I not getting foundation on my top though? Oh. I'm like a moron when it comes to stuff like that. I just get stuff everywhere. And foundation is really hard to get out of clothes, especially black clothes. I'm just going to move my hair out of my way. We don't want to get it in my hair as well. No, me, I probably would. Do, 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 do. I've seen so many things lately with that shark song. Like the daddy shark and the mummy shark or whatever it's called. I don't even know. It is driving me up the wall. Can it get stuck in my head every single time I see something? I'm just like, oh. See how it's covering up really, really nicely. And I'm just patting it on. So we don't want to swirl it into the skin. One, because we don't want to cause discomfort and rub the skin and irritate it. And two, because that means that you'd be blending out a lot of the coverage that you're trying to put on the skin. Alrighty, so we've got our base on now. Now we are going to take the concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to use this because it's a more fuller coverage concealer around the areas where I can still see quite a bit of redness. So I make myself nice and presentable. So we're going to take a tiny bit. I almost got that on my damn top again. This is how clumsy and bad I am. Just a tiny bit underneath the eye there. That's actually not even a tiny bit. I accidentally put way too much on. But Let's just go with the flow. So I can see that we've got a little bit more redness there. Tiny bit around the nose, just there. I'm gonna be so crusty around my nose when that starts drying um, down, like with my sunburn. Tiny bit on the chin there. I don't need much there, I don't think. And for some reason, on my psoriasis, it's really, really red. So we'll put a little bit there. So I woke up this morning and I was thinking, I feel like I had such a weird dream last night. Do you guys ever have like really strange dreams and then you wake up and you know you've had a strange dream but you can't remember what actually happened? That is me and I've been trying to think, what happened? I'm like, what happened in my dream? But for the life of me, I can't remember. We have got our coverage on now. We're going to set it with a tiny bit of powder. I'm going to be using the No Filter Powder by NYX. And this is in the shade Alabaster because I'm so pasty. So, so pasty. This is more of a setting powder, so you don't want something super drying. You definitely don't want a matte powder, that's for sure. So, we are just taking this more natural setting powder and dusting it over the skin. And here we have the finished makeup product. So you guys can see my red sunburn is completely covered, which is exactly what we wanted. 
and then we've just kept the eyes and the lips and the cheeks very soft so you still look very natural and glowy and fresh which is exactly what we wanted so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I had so much fun showing you guys how to cover my bad sunburn <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video have an awesome day guys bye